first contender in the black chair tonight is Ian Dunn, an editor from Stockton on Tees. He's answering questions on the four Gospels. Christine Quigley is a communications consultant from London. Her specialist subject, Margaret Atwood's Mad Adam novels. Next, Colin Atkin, a technical services specialist from Shopshop, who'll be answering questions on world flags. And last in the spotlight, Simon Cotty, an accountant from Berkshire, on the colour films of Danny Kaye. Welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Four contenders, as always, one of whom might become the nation's mastermind. The only obstacle in the way, some very tough questions in a pretty intimidating environment. First, two minutes of questions on their specialist subject and then two and a half minutes on general knowledge. So, let us have our first contender, please. And your name is? Ian Dunn. Your occupation? Editor and critic. And your chosen subject? The Four Gospels. The Four Gospels, in two minutes starting now. At which village in Galilee is the wedding feast where Jesus miraculously changes water into wine? Cana. Yep. In Luke's Gospel, which other apostle did Jesus send with Peter to prepare the Passover meal? Um, Andrew. John. What was significant about the tunic worn by Jesus before the crucifixion that caused the Roman soldiers to draw lots for it, thereby fulfilling a prophecy? It was untorn. It was seamless. Before he repents and returns to his father's house, the prodigal son squanders his wealth in wild living and has to take a demeaning job to survive. What was it? A uh, herd of pigs. Yeah, feeding the pigs. Exactly how many fish were found in the net that Peter dragged ashore after the resurrection in John's Gospel? Um, 500? 153. What is the name of the elderly widowed prophetess who sees the baby Jesus in the temple in Jerusalem and recognises his importance? Anna. Yep. In Mark's Gospel, Jesus heals the blind beggar Bartimaeus after leaving which city? Bethany. Jericho. What nickname did Jesus give to his disciples, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, according to Mark's Gospel? Sons of Thunder. Yes. In Matthew's Gospel, Jesus condemns Capernaum, Bethsaida and which other city for not accepting his teachings? Chorazin? Yep. In a parable only found in Luke's Gospel, Jesus compares the rejoicing of God over one sinner who repents to a woman's recovery of which very small item? Um, a hairpin? A lost coin. In chapter 3 of John's Gospel, to whom is Jesus speaking when he says that those who believe shall not perish but have everlasting life? Um. Zacharias. Nicodemus. Jesus says in Matthew that the disciples would have been able to cure a sick boy who was possessed by a demon if their faith had been the size of a small object. What object? Mustard seed? Yep. According to the opening chapter of St Luke's Gospel, there was in the days of King Herod a certain priest named Zacharias and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron. What was her name? Elizabeth. Yep. Immediately after the feeding of the 4,000, Jesus and his disciples get into a boat. Matthew's Gospel says they were travelling to Magadan, but according to Mark's Gospel, what was their destination? Capernaum. It was Dalmanutha, if I pronounced that correctly. Ian, no passes. You have scored seven points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Christine Quigley. Your occupation? PR consultant. And your chosen subject? Margaret Atwood's Mad Adam novels. In two minutes, starting now. Which of the title characters in the first book of the dystopian Mad Adam trilogy creates a virus that wipes out nearly all of the Earth's human population? Craig. Yep. What is the name of the religion led by Adam I, whose members teach a love of nature and all creatures, the dangers of technology and the avoidance of violence? God's Gardeners. Yep. Which church is run for profit by a minister known as the Rev, who is thought to be the father of Adam I and Zeb? The Church of Petroleum. Indeed. What name is given to the contest in which condemned criminals are set against each other with lethal weapons for the entertainment of others? Painball. Yes. In which corporation's compound does Craig conduct his genetic experiments known as the Paradise Project? Rejuvenescence. Yes. What genetically modified creatures are developed at organ ink farms to grow multiple human organs? Pigoons. Yeah. What derogatory name is given to the cities and other areas outside the compounds of the industrial corporations they're considered to be lawless? Plebelands. Yes. Which liberal arts college for pupils with limited scientific ability was attended by Jimmy and Wren 
and also Toby, who studied holistic healing there. Martha Graham Academy. Yep. Which chess piece is used by Pilar and Zeb to smuggle toxic pills out of the Healthwiser Corporation compound? A white Bishop. Yes, what is the brand name of the coffee produced from genetically modified plants on which all the beans ripen at the same time? Protests against it led to riots with cafes looted and staff beaten to death. Happy Cuppa. Yeah. What colour are the eyes of the human-like creatures developed in the Paradise Project who are known as Krakers and survived the plague? Green. Yeah. Jimmy's pet killer was set free by his mother when she left the Healthwiser compound. What kind of genetically modified creature was it? A rakunk. Yes. An image of a famous painting on a website is used by Zeb and Adam One as the location of a drop box where they can secretly communicate with each other. Which painting? Botticelli's Birth of Venus. Yes. In Mad Adam, which Quaker child becomes Toby's companion and acts as an interpreter between the humans and the pigoons. Blackbeard. Correct. What is the name of the corrupt organisation that began as a private security firm but took control of law and order when the local police forces collapsed? The Corpse Corps. Absolutely right. Christine, no passes. Maximum score. You've scored 15 points. <laughs> Well, our next contender, please. And your name is? Colin Atkin. Your occupation? Technical Services Specialist. And your chosen subject? World Flags. World Flags. In two minutes, here we go. What is the name of the national flag of Denmark? It is widely considered to be the oldest flag in the world. The Danaborg. Yep. Which Pacific Island Republic has a flag with a coat of arms that features sugar cane, a coconut palm, a dove and a bunch of bananas with a lion above them? Fiji. Yeah. What ancient mythological name is given to the two promontories of the Strait of Gibraltar which are represented supporting the country's shield on the flag of Spain? <sighs> Pass. What UNESCO World Heritage Site features on the flag of Cambodia? The Temple of Angkor Wat. Yes. The flag of which Central American Republic features the national motto Sub Umbra Floreo, meaning under the shade I flourish? Belize? Yes. Tuvalu's national flag includes the Union Jack and also features nine stars. What do the nine stars represent? The nine individual islands? Yep. The Mexican flag includes the nation's coat of arms at the centre in which an eagle is perched on a cactus plant. What animal is the eagle clasping? A serpent. Yeah, or a snake. Which Republic in the Caucasus adopted the so-called Five Cross flag on the 14th of January 2004? Pass. What Korean name is given to the South Korean flag after its yin-yang symbol in the centre? Taigak. Yes, close enough. Taiguki. Which Gulf state's white and maroon flag is more than twice as wide as it is high? Bahrain. Cut off. From 1818 onwards, the addition of a stripe as well as a star for every new state was deemed impractical on the American flag. How many stripes are on it? Thirteen. Yes. The shield and two cross spears on the flag of Kenya are depicted in three colours, black, white and... Maroon? Yes, red. The flag of Luxembourg is almost identical to that of a nearby country to the north. Which country? Denmark? Netherlands. What was the name of the South American liberation leader credited with the basic yellow, blue and red design on the flag of Venezuela? He died in 1816. Pass. Which country declared independence from Serbia in 2008 and adopted a flag that shows six white stars in an arc above a golden map on a blue field to represent its six major ethnic groups? Montenegro. Ah, close. Kosovo. <laughs> <laughs> you have uh, three passes there, Colin. The name of the South American Liberation leader was Francisco de Miranda. Georgia is the republic that um, adopted the so-called Five Crosses flag. And the Pillars of Hercules are those pillars representing, or rather supporting, the country's shield on the flag of Spain. Colin, you have nine points. Contender, please. And your name is? Simon Cotty. Your occupation? I'm an accountant. And your chosen subject? The Colour Films of Danny Kaye. The Colour Films of Danny Kaye in two minutes, starting now. In which 1944 film does Danny Kaye play the character of Danny Weems? It was his first full-length feature. Up in arms. Yep. In the court jester, which prospective husband suggested by the king is rejected by Princess Gwendolyn, who describes him as grim, grisly and gruesome? 
uh, Sir Griswold. Yep. In On the Riviera, how much is Kay's character paid to attend a party and impersonate his lookalike, the aviator Henry Duran? $500. No, it was half a million francs. In White Christmas, Kay and Bing Crosby lip sync to a duet by Vera Ellen and Rosemary Clooney in order to help the girls avoid arrest. Which duet? Sisters. Yep. In the court jester, when the king makes unwelcome advances to Maid Jones, she discourages him by saying she has an unpleasant disease. What disease? Uh, leprosy. Breckenridge's Scourge. Which musician plays himself in both The Five Pennies and A Song is Born? Uh, Louis Armstrong. Yeah. In the Inspector General, Georgie is illiterate and asks Yakov to read him a letter. What does Yakov tell Georgie that PS stands for? Pass. Which band leader plays the role of Professor Margenbruch in A Song is Born alongside several famous musicians who play themselves? Uh, Benny Goodman. Yep. In Knock on Wood, Kay plays a ventriloquist who's being followed by agents because the blueprints for a secret weapon are hidden inside his two dummies. What's the weapon called? Lafayette XV27. Exactly. In the court jester, the king is a usurper and the true king is a baby who has a birthmark that proves he is from the royal bloodline. What is the birthmark called? The Purple Pimpernel. Yep. In The Secret Life of Walter Mitty, Tubby Wadsworth gives Walter a book as a present. What does the book unexpectedly contain? Pass. Which choreographer directed Mary Andrew, which Kay plays an English schoolmaster who leaves to become a circus clown? Michael Kidd? Yep. Kay plays Hans Christian Andersen, who distracts the children of Odense from going to school by telling them stories. What is Andersen's trade in the film? He's a cobbler. He is. Who was originally selected to direct The Mad Woman of Shylock, but left the project shortly before filming started? He was replaced by Brian Forbes. Orson Welles? It was John Houston. Two passes. Um, that uh, book contained sneezing powder. And PS stands for please, sweetheart. There you go. Simon, you have nine points. <laughs> So that's the first round, a nice wide spread of scores. Let's have a look at them all. In fourth place, seven points, Ian Dunn. Joint second place, nine points apiece, Colin Atkin and Simon Cotty. First place with 15 points, Christine Quigley. Round two. Now, general knowledge. And if there is a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. And if they're tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. So let us get on with it and ask Ian to join us again, please. You start out with uh, seven points and with your knowledge of the Gospels. Two and a half minutes for general knowledge, of course, so plenty of time to catch up. Here we go, starting now. What is the name of the stone below the southern ramparts of a castle in County Cork which is said to give eloquence to those who kiss it? The Blarney Stone? Yep. Svetlana Alilueva defected to America in the spring of 1967. She was the only daughter of whom? Lenin. Stalin. What name do we give to the Sunday in the middle of Lent when domestic servants, especially daughters, were traditionally given the day off to visit their family? Um... M Mothering Sunday? Yes. Which MP prompted a by-election when he resigned his seat in January 2017 to become the director of the Victoria and Albert Museum? He had been a critic of Jeremy Corbyn. Tristram Hunt. Yes. What two-word term originally used by the American military describes the gradual widening of the aims, roles and activities of a project? Pass. In which joint of the body are the collateral and cruciate ligaments? Um... The leg? The knee. The title character of a 1994 Oscar-winning film played by Tom Hanks turns up at many historic moments. What film? Oh, uh, Forrest Gump. Yep. Vic Reeves was backed by which group on his 1991 UK chart-topping single, Dizzy? Wonder Stuff. Yes. By what name is the Spanish football club, whose name translates as the Royal Society Football Club of San Sebastian, generally known? Real Madrid. Real Sociedad. Which current Radio 2 DJ married the record producer Fatboy Slim in Somerset in August 1999? Uh, pass. Which member of the Finch family, noted for its singing, gets its name from its supposed liking for flax seeds? Goldfinch. Linnet. The Statue of Liberty was a gift to the people of America from which country? France. Yeah. What is the name of the writer born in Cleckheaton in West Yorkshire in 1935 who created the Mr Men and Little Miss series of characters? Roger Hargreaves. Yep. In David Copperfield, what does Mr Micawber say results if annual income is £20 and annual expenditure is £19.19 19 and sixpence? 
happiness? Yes. In an American television series, Don Johnson played a Miami-based police detective who lived on a boat called the St Vitus Dance with his pet alligator, Elvis. What was the detective's name? Magnum? Sorry, Crockett. What part of the clove tree is dried and used as a spice and food preservative? The seed? The flower bud. What is the largest city in the state of California? Um, San Francisco? Los Angeles. Which of the so-called three tenors made a triumphant comeback to the operatic stage in 1989 after he'd been diagnosed with leukaemia two years earlier? Pavarotti? Ah, could have been. It wasn't. It was Jose Carreras. You have uh, two passes. That Radio 2 DJ who married Fat Boy Slim with Zoe Ball. And the term used to describe the gradual widening of a project, the aims of the project, mission creep. Uh -huh. You have in 15 points. <laughs> uh, now, Colin again, please. And you, Colin. Start out with nine points. Let's see how you do. Fifteen is so far the score to beat. Here we go. In Greek mythology, what precious object did Jason and the Argonauts go in search of? Golden fleece. Yes. Sagamatha, generally said to mean forehead in the sky, is the Nepalese name for which mountain? Mount Everest. Yes. Which art gallery was initially established in 1897 as the National Gallery of British Art under the National Gallery Trustees? Pass. Who stood down as Britain's Prime Minister in November 1990 after failing to achieve enough support in the second round of a Conservative Party leadership election? Margaret Thatcher. Yep. Beta carotene, a red-orange pigment that gives many plants and vegetables their colour, is converted into which vitamin when it's taken in by the body? Vitamin C. Vitamin A. In which television series first shown in 2010 does Deputy Sheriff Rick Grimes lead a group of survivors who struggle to stay alive in a world overrun by the undead? The Walking Dead. Yes. What is the name of the village on the slopes of the Mount of Olives where Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead? Sinai. Bethany. What name is given to complete or partial abstinence from food as part of a religious observance? Fast. Yep. In which Verdi opera do the gypsies sing the Anvil Chorus as they celebrate their return to work? Il Travatore? Yes, Il Travatore. Whiff Waff, played by Victorian gentlemen with cigar boxes as bats and balls made from champagne corks, was an early form of which game? Ping pong. Yes, or table tennis. By what name is the building that has the address 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Washington, D.C., generally known? The White House. Yes. The Angel Choir, which gets its name from the carved figures that adorn its arches, is a feature of which cathedral in eastern England? Salisbury? Lincoln. Gary Barlow is the lead singer and principal songwriter of which band, now reduced to three members? Take that. Yes. Who was nominated for a Best Actress Oscar for her role as Susie Diamond, the singer who causes tension between two piano-playing brothers in the 1989 film The Fabulous Baker Boys? Pass. Which of the seven wonders of the ancient world was on an island at Alexandria in Egypt? Ah, uh, uh, pass. What famous racecourse is bounded on one side by the Leeds-Liverpool Canal and split in two by Melling Road? Aintree. Yes, in America, the deep-fried sugared pastry known as beignet is particularly associated with which state? Louisiana. Yep. What is the name of the primate found in the wild in Indonesia and Malaysia, which is a semi-solitary animal in contrast to other apes and monkeys that live in large family groups? Gibbon. Orangutan. The younger Edda and the older Edda are collections of the ancient literature of which country? Greece? No, Iceland. You had uh, three passes there, Colin. The um, seven ones of the ancient world, Alexandria, is uh, a lighthouse of Pharos. Who was nominated for Best Actress Oscar? It was Michelle Pfeiffer. It caused tension in the fabulous Baker Boys and that art gallery established in 1897, the Tate. Oh. Colin, you now have a total of 20 points. And now, Simon, again, please. And, uh, Simon, you scored nine points in the first round. The score to beat now is 20. Let's see if you can do that in two and a half minutes, starting now. What is the surname of the television journalist David and Jonathan, whose father, Richard, was also a broadcaster? Dimbleby. Yep. Which British king was the only son of Mary, Queen of Scots, and Lord Darnley? Pass. What Spanish exclamation expressing surprise or pain has been popularised by the television character Bart Simpson? 
Ai caramba. Ai caramba. The forest of Boland, designated an area of outstanding natural beauty in 1964, is in which English county? Shropshire. Lancashire. In which constellation are there seven bright stars known by a variety of names, such as the Plough and the Big Dipper? Uh, Ursa Major. Yep. What is the name of the former military policeman played by Dom Cruise in the 2016 film Never Go Back? Pass. What canal, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, links the Bay of Biscay with the Mediterranean Sea? Pass. What animal is Miffy in the series of children's books written and illustrated by the Dutch writer Dick Bruner? Uh, rabbit. Yep. Which band released consecutive albums in the 1970s called A Night at the Opera and A Day at the Races? Queen. Yes. What was the name of the Archbishop of Canterbury from 1533 to 1556 who compiled the first Anglican Book of Common Prayer? He was burned at the stake in March 56. Cardinal Woolsey. Cranber. What name that comes from the Persian for wool is given to fine shawls made from cashmere and silk? Pashmina. Yes. Whom did Theresa May appoint as her successor as Home Secretary when she became Conservative Party leader in July 2016? Amber Rudd. Yes. Which species of semi-aquatic boa with the scientific name Eunectes murinus is found in tropical South America and is one of the world's heaviest snakes? Um... Birkenstricter. Anaconda. John Hinckley Jr. shot Ronald Reagan in March 1981, claiming he was trying to impress an actress. Which actress? Jodie Foster. Yes. Whose television roles include the Reverend Dushamin in Parade's End, Tom Builder in The Pillars of the Earth, and Lord Melbourne in the 2016 series Victoria? Colin Firth. Rufus Sewell. Which American city is the home of the Cubs baseball team? They won the World Series title in 2016 for the first time since 1908. Chicago. Yep. By what name was the Mariinsky Theatre and Ballet in St. Petersburg known between 1935 and 91? Uh, the Borsa Ballet. The Kirov. What plant with long stalks, which are used in desserts, was probably first introduced to Britain in the 16th century? Pass. Well, I can tell you, because your time is now up. Rhubarb. Yeah, I know. Been around a long time. You had uh, three passes. That canal, UNESCO World Heritage Site, is the Canal du Midi. Jack Reacher was the name of the former military policeman, played by Tom Cruise. And the British king, the only son of Mary, Queen of Scots, and Lord Darnley, James I. You have a total now, Simon, of 18 points. And finally, Christine, again, please. And uh, you start out with a whopping 15 points. 20 is the score to beat. So let us see how you do. Here we go. Which American singer and actress gave birth to her first child, a girl called Lourdes Maria, on the 14th of October 1996? Madonna. Yep. The ruins of an observatory established in 1883 by the Scottish Meteorological Society are near the summit of which Scottish mountain? Pass. Who was the last British athlete to win the Olympic men's 100 metres title in 92? Linford Christie. Yep. What spirit, along with cherry brandy, is an essential alcoholic ingredient of a Singapore sling? Gin. Yep. Which country's parliament consists of an upper house called the Senate and a lower house called the Doyle, which both meet in Leinster House? Republic of Ireland. Yep. Who won the 2003 Best Actress Oscar for playing the murderer Eileen Warnos in the film Monster? Charlize Theron. Yep. The Schönbrunn Palace gives its name to the shade of yellow in which many of its rooms are painted. In which European capital city is the palace? Vienna. Yep. In June 2011, which Nobel Peace Prize winner and dissident revealed that listening to the BBC World Service while under house arrest had made her world much more complete? Aung San Suu Kyi. Yes. The oldest printed collection of some seasonal songs come from the press of Winkin de Wurde in 1521. Which seasonal songs? Christmas. Yeah, Christmas carols. What caused the Prime Minister Stanley Baldwin to declare a state of emergency in May 1926? Pass. The elderly curator of the Louvre Museum in Paris is found murdered at the start of which novel by Dan Brown? The Da Vinci Code. Yep. What is the third major religion in China, along with Buddhism and Confucianism? Its name comes from the Chinese for Wei. Taoism. Yeah, or Taoism. Which artist is buried in the crypt in a museum dedicated to him in Figueres, Spain? Uh, Picasso. Dali. Pied grey and yellow, a species of a native insect-eating bird whose name comes from the constant characteristic movement it makes. Which bird? Wagtail. 
Yep, which UK rock band entered the album charts at number one for the third time in June 2001 with Amnesiac? Radiohead. Yep. What word that now means a disorderly and chaotic scene did John Milton coin for the name of the capital of hell in Paradise Lost? Discordia. Pandemonium. The name of which currency comes from the German word Joachimstahler, a coin from the silver mine Joachimstahl? Pass. It's the way I tell them and it's a cracker were the catchphrases of which Belfast-born comedian? Pass. What term is used for the zero-gravity condition experienced by space travellers? Pass. Don Basilio and Count Almaviva are characters in Mozart opera The Marriage of Figaro and in which opera by Rossini? Pass. Well, I can tell you because you're out of time. It is the Barber of Seville. And I'll tell you your other passes. You'll be really cross about this one. That term used for zero gravity experienced by space travel is weightlessness. Yeah. <laughs> Frank Carson liked those particular catchphrases. It's the way I tell them, and it's a cracker. Um, the name of that currency that comes from the German word Joachim Stahler is uh, the dollar. Uh, Prime Minister Baldwin declared the state of emergency because of the general strike and the ruins of that observatory established in 1883 and near the summit of Ben Nevis. Anyway, no problem with the passes, Christine, because you have a score of 27 points. A clear winner. Let us have a look at all the scores. In fourth place, 15 points. Ian Dunn, third place, 18 points. Simon Cotty, second place, 20 points. Colin Atkin, and in first place with those 27 points, Christine Quigley. Which means, of course, that Christine is tonight's winner and she goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to her. And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind. And you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>